Hello everybody, Joe Zombie here. Today we're playing Life After Us, The System. So, this is actually the menu right here, which is pretty awesome. I haven't seen a menu where you're like, let's go play. So we're going into play. I have been tasked with retrieving the granddaughter of Mrs. Hemington. I have been told the girl is in her late 20s, but due to a lack of mental illness, she has the mind of a child. She is believed to have returned to Hawthorne Sanitarium, where she was once a patient. That's all I got. <laughs> okay, so we are in. Oh my god, I run like really fast. Whoa! Oh god. <laughs> is that a tripwire? Okay, no. I'm losing my mind. What am I talking about? <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for. Little girl, little girl is somewhere inside of this building, the sanitarium of Hemingcorn. Here's a piece of paper. Hello, I don't like it here. A mean woman took Mr. Teddy away. <gasps> Mr. Teddy! She said I'm too old for silly things like the toys. He's not a toy, he's my best friend. I can't sleep without Mr. Teddy. I wish someone would bring him back. I need him next to my bed. Am I searching for Mr. Teddy? Find Mr. Teddy. I'm on the job. Joe Zombie is here. He is awesome. He is on the job to find Mr. Teddy. I'll find that bear for you no matter Mr. Teddy. Find that bear no matter what, little girl. <laughs> Trying to hide it over there. <laughs> I got it right here. Bam! Done. I black out, and upon waking, I find myself still in the asylum, but something is wrong. The darkness surrounds me, and I feel as if I am not alone. I must find the girl as soon as I can. Loading. Alright, so. Did it get darker? Anyways, there's a note over here. So. Dr. Tar told me I'm pretty. That I'm not a girl. I am a girl. He said, <laughs> Little girls don't look as pretty as I do. He says, I'm a woman. Oh. Oh, did he? Whoop. Did he now? You know what? I'm a sexy woman too. Yeah, it got a lot darker here. Okay, well, whatever the fuck that thing is, that thing is scary, so I'm gonna read this. Dr. Tori came to visit me at night. He kept saying I was very pretty, then he oh, got in the bed and on top of me. Oh my god. He kept telling me not to make any noise, but it hurt. He raped her. That's terrible. He got mad when I shouted in pain and he hit me. That's even worse. Don't ever hit a kid. He visits me every night now. Oh, did your arms move? Make me pretty. Okay, what do you want some makeup or something? And that's not all I can do. <laughs> Let me go find you some makeup or head. That might also help. So what's up in here? That make that uh, a skull throwing up will not make you pretty. I'm sorry to say. There's nothing in those cabinets. What's over here? Hello. Okay, can't go that way. What's in here? I'm just waiting for something to jump out so I can just crap my pants. Well, this is where Mr. Teddy was, right? So a, I don't know, I think this place is changing as well, so... It's getting all kinds of weird up in here. It's dark, things are changing, and I can't find makeup. How hard is it to find makeup? Alright, so there's definitely nothing in here. So. Stop looking at me, old man. Okay, other than a mild heart attack, I'm doing great. Hope you guys are doing great. He gets so mad if I'm not pretty. He says my head is so small and pretty. I started bleeding after he came to visit me last night. I wish I could go home. Don't we all? Nobody wants a small bleeding head. Oh! Oh god, there's some falling! What the hell? 
I would like to believe. Hello? Are you still back there? I still have a hundred health, what the hell? Hmm. Strange, but maybe it was just a ghost. A ghost is trying to beat me up. So, another note. I told the doctor I'm getting sick in the mornings. He got so mad when I told him that, that he hit me in the belly. <laughs> abortion! <laughs> It's like a falcon punch abortion style right there. Okay, I was looking for a... S it's not a mannequin head, it's just a straight blown skull. So Joe Zombie is going to go put the skull back on that beautiful... Come on, what the hell? Okay, you're moaning, I don't like that. Okay, you gone? Okay. I think it's gone. I think it's gone, guys. We're good. Alrighty. It was in here, right? Yep. Here you go, Brent. Brand new skull, just for you. Alright, so. Oh! <laughs> God damn it! Once more, I wake it in this place. Only be hell on earth. There is something holding me here. It will not let me leave and something much worse is looking for. I must find the girl and escape this hell. Not shit my pants. Okay. So, there's a door open that way and a door open this way. Alrighty. Was that a door open before? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Oh, this is where Teddy was. I think. Anyways, let's go find the note. Joe Zombie is on the case for the new note. Not this way. Anything in here? No. So is the notes, are the notes that I'm reading, is that, uh, the girl who ran away and came back here? Maybe. But one can never be too sure about these things. Alrighty, so... Didn't see anything in there. What about in here? That. Over there. Okie dokie, well you got a little... Abortion fetus thing. Dr. Tor stopped by coming to visit me at, at night. Once he took my baby, my baby. He took me. Or he took him. <laughs> He said I can't have it because it was a mistake. I thought he killed it with a falcon punch. What the hell? He took my baby boy and put him in a box. I could hear my baby screaming as he set fire to him. Oh my god. I want my baby. Alright, well. Uh, how do I give you the baby? I, I got the baby. Where do I take the baby? How do I give it to you? Do I give it to the other mannequin? Why are these... This game is disturbing. Very disturbing for me. Do I give it to you? No, I don't give it to you. Who the hell do I give it to? I got a baby here. Come get it. I don't want it anymore. What the fuck was that? <gasps> it's okay. So I guess we're going. This way? Ha, a note. He. Oh, okay, so the baby. Put the baby in the box. And I catch it on fire. I am so mean. I didn't even get to read the note. I now understand the horror this young girl went through. While she sleep. <laughs> While she was here, such pain and suffering. To have been raped by such a monster and have her child taken only to be burned alive. Why? Why? That's the only questions I have. Why? So yes, this is her. Everything... Uh, right, there's a note over there. Hello, note. I kept screaming what he did to me and my baby, but no one cares. He wants me to shut up. Shut up, girl. 
No, that's a terrible thing. Oh, oh, God damn it! Stop biting me in the butt! I'm trying to read that note. Are you gone? Okay, you're gone. He told me that a grandmother died today. He said that she fell down the stairs and broke her neck. Well, that's terrible. He said it with a smile. That's even worse. Your grandmother died today. Okay, I know he did it. He said no one will ever come for me now. He said he's going to to look me... Oh, look. I'm just totally gone there right now. Going to lock me away in the dark room where he had be no trouble for me for him ever again so is this the dark room <laughs> little girl little girl well at least he didn't jump scare me oh do I even want to turn around <gasps> oh god god <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. God, that was... I hate jump scares so much. They just... Grrr. Life After Us. The system. It was a good game. If you want to play it, the link's in the description below. Thank you guys so much. I've been Joe Zombie, your host of awesomeness scare in your butt. Minus the butt part. It's just awesome scares. Yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!